just derelict land and never been used since 1953, the spot we stand on. And uh, it was really, really wild. Uh, without Biffa and without Derbyshire Wildlife Trust and without Longcliffe Quarries, we would never succeed at what we've done. So everything's looking good like. Yeah. So the first time I met Alistair, um, we came in on this field and thought, you know, it's got a field corner which isn't really used, can't get its machinery in here, it gets too wet. So we had the idea, didn't we, of putting in a wetland area with a pond and a couple of scrapes to set it aside for a bit of wildlife. Um, doing lots of lots of good things for wildlife and uh, keeping your, keep your sediment <laughs> there, yeah. So no, it's good. <laughs> Oh, the wetland behind us, I think it's brilliant. I mean, you can already see that the ground's settled down. Uh, and in another two months, the, the green shoots will be coming up and you'll hardly know that it's been done by the end of the summer. We walked to the, the pond on the next path and Kingfisher just came up out from the water. It, it's quite good round here because close by we've got one of the best highest density of water voles in the stream, very close to here as well. Yeah, so as you can see at the minute, work's kind of stalled for the time being just because of the, the weather, which is always a problem with yeah, these things. Yeah, unfortunately we've had to shelve it for yeah. the winter really, it's just too wet, we're going to make such a mess of the yeah. field. Just got to be patient, it could, yeah. be, it could be worth it in the end. Yeah, definitely, just get the timing right. Yeah.